Hello everybody and welcome to another Multiple Apps Workflow tutorial with me, Eldrin, from Lodge Civil Mirror. Today we'll be discussing Soft Image and Space Robot and Cinema 4D import, export strategies, and workflow strategies. Alright, so why would we want to use Soft Image and Space Robot? Well, Soft Image Space Robot is a powerful, robust uh, facial rigging tool that'll allow us to quickly get believable and realistic facial animations with uh, minimal fuss and a very powerful uh, tool set. Face Robot has envelopes and bone rigging tools and uh, other various uh, workflow tweaks that make face painting, weight painting, and face motion capture painting a breeze. It's like the motion builder of face capture. We can use tools like Brakel Pro Face and uh, the new Face Shift to capture motion capture data and quickly apply it to our faces. And then we can use MDD caches and point caches uh, here in Cinema 4D to quickly apply the facial animations and uh, quickly get our believable actor uh, facial simulations onto our models and uh, create believable uh, simulations. And productions. All right. Now there are a few tools in Cinema 4D um, that allow us to do some of the same things. Uh, we went over this before, such as uh, Brakel Pro Face, um, which will allow us to get reasonably believable animations. Um, if you're dealing with uh, cartoons or you're dealing with um, animations like that, then that should be sufficient enough uh, given some exaggeration. Um, we can also, of course, weight our faces. And in fact, um, with our dad's figures, we don't get a very good uh, rig. Um, if I go here to, say, our head, and then we play with the upper and lower jaw, start with the upper jaw, and we go ahead and try to rotate just based off of the initial figure right here in Cinema 4D um, with a few of our tweaks. But uh, we haven't done any rigging tweaks and just right off the break from Daz, we don't really get any uh, capability to really move the upper or lower jaw at all. Um, the bones are rigged, of course, to the jaw bones but they're not rigged to, or they're they're rigged to the jaw objects themselves uh but they're not rigged to the actual face so we don't have a very believable control rig here in cinema 4d to begin with now for a while i was uh pretty terrified of um trying to re-rig my characters and trying to get the weighting correct um long since gotten over that but there's probably going to be a lot of you who are just beginning and um, trying to learn how to rig and weight in Cinema 4D is a little bit of a challenge there are some pretty great tutorials out there I highly recommend um, the Vertex Pusher series um, you can search for that on Google um, it has an amazing um, introduction and advanced step-by-step uh, uh, step, step workflow over how to completely rig, animate, model, and uh, well, yes, completely animate, rig, and model your characters all in Cinema 4D um, without having to rely on tools like, uh, like Daz. But uh, Daz gets us pretty much most of the way there. Um, using something simple like soft image as tools will allow us to get all the rest of the way there. Um, and then, of course, if we need to supplement, we can also come in here in the Cinema 4D and uh, supplement some of our, uh, our rigging here as well. All right. So in the next chapter, uh, what we'll go over is um, how to prepare... Um, our model for soft image. There's a little bit of prep work we have to do and um, this is also going to relate to our uh, texturing workflow coming soon this month. Um, we're going to want to break the object. We're going to want to break this character into multiple objects and I'm going to show you how to do that. 
and how to still keep it as one cohesive uh, moving unit all in the next chapter. All right, so see you there.